Hi my friends, this is Jan and I want to talk to you a little bit about slow drying mediums that you use with acrylics. We're going to be using these whenever I start my floral painting session. So on this side here I have used the mediums directly on the canvas, dry canvas. On this one over here, I have put the mediums in the paint, white paint, so that it acts like a magic white or a liquid white, which people use whenever they want to do oils and they want to do the wet and wet method, uh, Bob Ross style. So what I used is Winsor Newton. Slow Dry Medium, and Flow Improver. This one, the Slow Dry, is a gel. This one is a liquid. So what I did was I combined them both and I put more of the gel than the Flow Improver. It was a little bit more than 50%. So maybe 60 of this one and then 50 of this one. You'll just have to mix it up and see what works for you, but that's pretty much what I used. And as far as paints go, use any kind of acrylics you want as long as it's a heavier body acrylic. You can use your folk arts, you can use your Liquitex, you can use uh, Amsterdam, any of these acrylic paints are heavy body acrylics, and that's what you want. You just don't want to use the craft paints, and you know you have a craft paint when you squirt it on your palette, and it just takes off and runs everywhere. Don't want to use those paints. They don't have any pigment in it, so you want to use these paints that are uh, higher quality paints. So what I did on this one, like I said before, dry canvas, put the medium on top first, then come back, double load your um, little bit of gray, little bit of white, and do a slip slap, uh, cross stitch like this, and put your paint on. This one here, dry canvas, mix in your medium with your white, put your white on first and then come back and slip slap some of your gray green is what I used here. Okay, and then that will give you about 30 minutes of open time for your backdrop. Now I'm starting a floral series on my YouTube channel this week and our first painting is going to be this one. And the reason that I needed some retarder or slow dry medium for this is because when we get to our flowers, I will be doing the overstroke on the petals. And rather than doing them one at a time all the way around, I can use this extender and I can paint this my solid color, then come back and I can complete the whole flower before it sets up and dries. And I don't have to just do one at a time. So it's a little different than what I originally had started doing. We did one petal at a time and I wasn't using any extenders, but this time we're gonna use the extender so I can show you how to paint wet in wet. So our first class, is going to be our background. I already have a video up on how to prep the canvas. Then when we uh, come back to do the background, which I will do this week, then we will go ahead and let the background dry. Then when we come back, I will be showing you how to do the filler flowers and we will be wetting our canvas with some of this uh, flow slow dry medium that I mixed up we will 
wet that before we start doing these other items on here. So it's, it's going to be done in sessions. This painting is not going to be done all wet on wet in two or three hours. We're just going to be doing it in sections. And it'll be over probably, I don't know, a couple of weeks for us to finish this. So I'll show you how to do it in stages instead of just wet in wet all in one. Okay, so look forward to that. I will have four more paintings to do using this method. So if you want to join me into these painting sessions, make sure you go to Jan Mendenhall Painting and you subscribe so you won't miss any paintings. And I think you have to click on the down arrow once you click subscribe. There's a down arrow and you want to click all. That way you'll get all of the updates that I do and you won't miss any. Okay, thank you for joining me and I will see you later this week. Bye.